Say go scan and go. My name is Digali Wakwa. She sings. Or you can call me Joanne Shenandoah. I'm a Native American Wolf Clan member of the United Nation Iroquois Confederacy. Native Americans have lived on this land for thousands of years. Today I would like to share with you the story of the Native Americans of the Great Plains. One way we've come to know about early Native American culture is through artifacts dug up by archaeologists. Artifacts are things like pottery, jewelry, and tools. By exploring artifacts left behind, we can learn a lot about what life was like for the first American people. You may wonder, how did the first Americans come to live on this land? Well, many scientists believe that thousands of years ago, much of the Northern Hemisphere was covered with huge sheets of ice called glaciers. This was the Ice Age. The cold temperatures caused more and more water to freeze and the level of the oceans dropped. When this happened, a land bridge crossing the sea between Northeast Asia and North America was revealed. Bison, caribou, and other large animals crossed over the bridge and the Asian people who hunted these animals and depended on them to survive followed. The people settled all over North America and formed groups or nations, becoming the first Native Americans. Some of these people settled in the Pacific Northwest. Others settled in the woodlands of the Northeast region of America. Still others settled in deserts of the Southwest. And some people made their homes on the prairie land in the middle of the United States. We call the first people who settled on the land between the Mississippi River and the Rocky Mountains and from Canada down to Mexico, the Native Americans of the Great Plains. The Great Plains consist of vast grasslands sweeping valleys, rolling hills, and freshwater streams. Few trees grow in the Great Plains, so there is little shelter from the scorching sun. The plains can be bitterly cold in the winter and very hot in the summer. Some nations that settled on the plains are the Pro, Blackfoot, Comanche, and Lakota. Cultures varied among these tribes, but they shared one common bond. They all survived off the herds of the buffalo that roamed the land. The Great Plains people were nomadic, meaning they moved from place to place. They were constantly moving because the buffalo herds were constantly moving, and they depended on the buffalo to survive. Since the Plains people moved around so much, their homes had to be easy to take down, carry around, and easy to build as well. So families lived in teepees. Teepees were made of buffalo hides and poles, very light materials. They were easily taken apart, carried, and then set up again. Teepees were made by tying long branches together and then stretching buffalo hides across them. Teepees are like large tents. Teepee doors were round, and they always faced east toward the rising sun. People lived comfortably inside teepees. The buffalo skins were durable against the harsh wind and weather of the prairie. The skins kept teepees warm during the winter and cool during the summer. The outside of a teepee was decorated with paintings. Each painting was unique and showed the personalities of the family inside. 